Huh? Do you have your water? Oh, looky here. This is my painting outfit. You're styling, baby. Old scrubs at a hospital I'm not gonna work at. Shoes that probably need thrown away. I just got to be myself. Huh? I don't count dollar signs. Spend love and I share the world. I've been overthinking of my life. No more wasting on my precious time. You guys know that Indiana is our home, and we love being home with family and friends. We decided once again to visit Indiana for a longer period of time during the worst part of time to be in Indiana. We are gonna be here through the winter, and that means this year we are skirting our camper. Last year we were here for most of the winter, and we were like, ah, do we need to skirt it, do we not? We should have done it. We're getting an early start on it. So that's today's project. We are going to be skirting our camper, and we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna do it. So there's tons of different ways you can skirt your camper. We decided to go with foam board skirting. So most people buy actual foam board from the store. We are fortunate enough that my dad and mom had a lot of um, insulation left over from their pole barn. He insulated the inside of this himself. And so they have several pieces left over. They said, just use it. So we are very grateful for that. But to make it look a little more aesthetically pleasing and maybe make it a little more weatherproof, I'm going to paint a coat of white paint on the outside of these. So that's today's project. That's why I look a little bit like a bum. Everybody has a paint outfit, right? This is mine. Old scrub, <laughs> old scrub pants, old shoes that are falling apart, old shirt. This is actually my mom's dad's work shirt. So I look a little bit like a bum, but I'm gonna spend my morning painting because it's actually sunny and kind of warm here in Indiana today. little money saving hack too. Uh, a friend is currently using our rollers, technically my parents' rollers, but we just took the stick off the broom, the handle off of the push broom. It fits in there well enough. You don't need to drop $20 on an, another little pole extender. Saving you guys money here. we are painted so I've painted and they're pretty much dry now at this point because it's so windy outside that I've painted those ones and my dad actually had some that were already painted so again very fortunate I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm not looking forward to this part <laughs> we could kind of just keep them as as wide as they are right now they're four feet this way and eight foot that way and we could keep them those dimensions but it's gonna look a little junky and we wanna be able to get access to the pass-through and obviously we don't wanna cover up some of these vents. So now comes the measuring and cutting portion of it. And you guys know us, there's probably an easier way to do this or a better way to do it, but this is the way we're doing it with the supplies that we have. So wish us luck, this might be a little bit interesting. I got the necessities to get, the, get through this job, you guys. Now I'm pretty sure we are taking off the skirting. So this is actually our foam skirting, but the stuff around the wheels, I guess is called skirting. I didn't know that until like when I started researching this. So I think we're gonna unscrew that just so this can lay more flush against the camper. All right, how's it working? All right, I'm giving you the screws. All right, do I need to count them before and after? I'm giving her the screws, guys. <laughs> this is video evidence. That I'm giving you the screws. Now I feel like there's a lot more pressure than when I volunteered to keep track of these. We're figuring this out? It's okay? 
It's a somewhat gorgeous day. Callie is loving life over here. Let me see if I can get her in shot. There you go. She, you know, some people are like, oh, I'm a beach person, I'm a mountain person. Callie is a sun dog. If the sun is out, she is happy. She will lay in that sun and pant and pant all day. And until she gets a little hot and goes over to the shade, but she is happy as can be. I'm happy because it's not like freezing cold outside. So we're gonna get this project done. Maybe not today. We might have to finish it tomorrow because the sun goes down at like five o'clock, but we're making progress. All right, so we started this project yesterday, and the reason why we are skirting this camper is to prevent wind from getting underneath of the camper, and it's also helping keep the camper warm up top. So, we're on day two, and I realized yesterday we probably didn't really talk too much about the way that we were doing this. So, the way that we started this is we first measured. We measured the camper, all the lengths and the widths of the camper. So once you have your measurements, you can figure out how much insulation you have. And we're using foil tape on the edges of our insulation. So it's duct tape, but it's not the duct tape that we're all super familiar with. It's like a foil duct tape. It's for duct work. So the one that we got is actually like extreme temperatures. And all of our research says that it will not leave sticky residue on the camper or pull off like the paint on it. So <laughs> hopefully in a few months that proves true. We will tell you we guys you when we take the insulation off, we'll be able to tell you guys if it left a residue or not. One of the things that we're doing too guys is we're using alcohol and wiping down the camper along it where we're putting tape to make sure that it's clean. <coughs> and down the road it may actually help keep that residue off as well but the first thing that we're doing with that tape is we're actually putting it along the edges here to get a nice grippy surface grippy is the technical word in it's case you're wondering the technical term look it up <laughs> in the dictionary we're going to put foil along the edge here and then we're going to take that foil tape and we're actually going to put it halfway on the camper and halfway on the insulation and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so foil tape. We're really probably gonna do three strips on this, but first strip putting over the top with a little bit of a lip so it's on this painted side. And then this other piece we're taking, and we're gonna measure it out here. And technically I would recommend wearing gloves, but it is darn hard to peel the backing off with gloves, so I've kind of given up. I have cut myself once a little paper cut foil cut i guess and then i try to fold this in half ish sticky side out and then stick it to the edge here and then make sure this is pushed up against the camper and stick it to the camera all right and we found after doing half of the camper that if you do this part after you put the foil on, it's a lot easier, but I've got a couple landscaping stakes and after we secure the panels to the camper, I put landscaping stakes in just to hold that and keep the wind from blowing. Now we've seen other people either dig trenches. So you could dig a trench where you can put the foam down into it, probably make it the most windproof. This is my parents' property. We're not going to do that here. Um, other people have just taken like cinder blocks to prop up against the base to keep them from blowing around. Again, we're not gonna win any awards for aesthetic, aesthetic pleasing look, but we wanted it to be a little sharper looking than that. So the stakes are what we have found that are gonna work for us. So we'll update you on how they work through the season when it actually starts really getting windy and snowing. Hold this on. is all good in theory. <laughs> so The first time skirting the camper, but lots of research and I, I think we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. All we're right. running out of daylight. We are. <laughs> Since the sun sets at 5 p.m. these days, uh, we're kind of running out of daylight, but we're almost done.
Did we do it? We did it. We, we did are, it. We are finally done outside of the uh, where the sewage comes out. I need to make something there or buy a cover for it. But I think we're done. I think we're done. I am not going to lie to you, friends. This was not our favorite project for the camper we've ever done. <laughs> the tape was probably the hardest part. Yeah. And we have the scars to prove it. <laughs> I was going to say paper cuts, foil cuts all over our hands. Again, you should wear gloves, but it's really hard to get that paper off with gloves. But we are done. We are excited. I think this is going to make a big difference, especially in super cold weather. Unseasonably warm right now. Thanksgiving day. Happy Thanksgiving. I uh, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, but we are done. So all in all, money wise so we obviously are very fortunate and very grateful for my parents because they have all the things here we're going to give them some money for the foam insulation but really all mike and i spent was uh, about 30 dollars on the tape about 20 dollars on the tent stakes and then um, some paint supplies not very much at all we ballparked if we had bought the foam board and all the supplies for this new it would probably cost between maybe three to six hundred dollars depending on how thick of the foam board we got um, this that we have on here is two and three quarter inches probably overkill if you're going out to buy some yeah. but we're grateful that it's that thick so ballparking three to six hundred dollars i think we'll save that in propane and heating costs hopefully yeah. i would think that uh, you would have to evaluate that but if nothing else you're going to be warmer it's more comfortable so i would I, pay that for the comfort that yeah. we're hoping this will give us i am curious to see how well it's going to perform over the next three months we will update you guys on that but uh, we are done and we are excited and we're going to be glad that we did it this isn't the only thing we're doing to prep for the winter stay tuned for an upcoming video on everything we're doing to our camper to actually prep for this winter season but if you guys are wanting to do skirting yourself to save yourself some money and just make that camper a little more airtight i think this is a good route to go yes definitely so we hope you guys are having a great week and we'll see you next time Foam insulation board skirting. Can you wait like two seconds? <laughs> Foam board skirting insulation. Nope, insulation skirt. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is embarrassing. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's this project summed up. Four. Oh my gosh, I can't say that.